Hi, my name is Joel Comiskey, and we know that in the study of 700 small group leaders in eight countries, that prayer and diligence were key factors in whether or not the small group leader could multiply his or her cell group. But sometimes it's hard to understand, well, in what areas do I direct my diligence? And the study showed at least three areas. One, community in the group, outside meetings, two, whether the group was reaching out, and three, developing new leaders. Let me just go step by step. The first one was community. And you know, the Bible has so much to say about practicing the one another's, love one another, serve one another. And those groups that had more outside meetings were more effective in developing that community and multiplying their small groups. Now, it is important that the leader doesn't feel burdened that he or she needs to do all of the community. I was in one group and the leader was just saying, I don't know if I could continue to lead this group, Joel, because I just don't have time to develop those uh, outside meetings and I said you know it's not up to you you just need to encourage the members to get together in my book relational disciple I talk a lot more about developing those relationships but community is essential in the multiplication of small groups and that's an important aspect to direct your diligence now the second thing is reaching out as a team reaching out. It seems like a contradiction. You know, we're talking about community, but then reaching out. But you know, really as the group reaches out, it grows in community. I love that uh, JPEG's uh, picture that talks about a group around the globe praying. And, you know, and as the group reaches a lost world for Jesus, in the midst of that, the group grows in fellowship and unity and that was very essential in the study of 700 small group leaders those groups that were inviting that were reaching out were also more effective in multiplying their group in my book share i talk about ways that you can do that as a small group leader and then finally raising up new leaders you know jesus said the harvest is plentiful the workers are few. Pray the Lord of the harvest to raise up more laborers in the harvest. And small groups are that perfect place to raise up and to develop new leaders. Uh, I love when Jesus was walking on the water and Peter said, I want to come to you, Jesus. Jesus said, come. Now, Peter began to sink. He cried out, but Jesus was there to save him. And as we as small group leaders say, come, people develop their muscles, they grow. And so it's essential that small group leaders allow the members to participate in all aspects of the group, including leading the lesson. The second thing is that the small group leaders make sure that the members go through the church-wide equipping. Now that doesn't mean that the leaders need to do all the equipping, they just need to make sure that they're guiding the members to take the equipping. And in my book, Leadership Explosion, I talk about developing leader, leaders, the equipping, and so on and so forth. You know, God wants to bless your group. And prayer and diligence are keys, but how do we direct that diligence? Community, reaching out as a team, but also raising up workers. God bless you. If you like this video, please click on like and subscribe to our channel, but also check out the resources on our website.